to the Progressive Soapbox. So, there's a dust-up between H.A. Goodman and Jordan Cheriton. I have to be honest, I wish he hadn't did this. So, Jordan came out with a post, and the post essentially named names, including H.A. Goodman. He mentioned Tim Black, but he essentially rescinded Tim Black, saying he meant for somebody else, and he named one other person. Um, H.A. Goodman was pissed. A.J. Goodman was absolutely pissed. Now, I watched this entire thing for Jordan. I personally like Jordan. I really wish he hadn't did this. Um, because it has no win associated with it at all. So I understand he's saying, I'm calling out somebody for doing something wrong, or that he perceived them doing something wrong. But in the course of the entire message, he didn't quite explain what they were doing wrong. Like, he, he gave his opinion of what they were doing wrong. But he didn't necessarily document anything. He was just saying, well, these people are saying that um, people should stop watching TYT because they're sellouts and this and that. Okay, you need to point me to that. And you need to kind of get that across so I can actually see that and give me a little bit more than, well, these people are saying, you know, that P TYT are sellouts. And then to name A.J. Goodman and to take this extra step of calling a guy, essentially saying he's doing it purely for clickbait, and that ultimately he's almost like a Fox News guy who's preying on the anger and frustration of progressives. And that he himself is not in fact a progressive. He's similar to what he saw when he was working at Fox News. That is amazing. That is amazing. That is a vicious attack. Um, yeah, man, that's amazing. I, I watched that and I thought to myself, oh, dude, I understand you're feeling a particular way. Because people are maybe saying something about TYT. It is grossly unfair to point A.J. Goodman out for doing that. Is it... Let me ask you this. Is it possible? Is it possible to any particular possibility that what A.J. Goodman is getting out and what those people who are getting out who's against or who's been pushing back against TYT, is it possible that those people are being earnest in their pushback? Yes. He's pissed off. A lot of people are pissed off. But what does it have to do with whether or not he's being earnest? Like, you took it to a whole nother level of this guy's putting out clickbait. And, and just for a particular point, to back up what Jordan's saying on this, in this one very specific case, be honest. H.A. Goodman does put out clickbait sometimes. The entire thing with the election where he kept saying Hillary Clinton was going to get convicted. He didn't know Hillary Clinton was going to get convicted. It's what he thought. It's what he believed. It's what he put out. Whether that was clickbait or not, you can be the judge of it yourself. But ultimately, that was a line that he was putting out that was, for the most part, this idea of something that wasn't necessarily conceptually happened or didn't necessarily happen. So fair enough if that's where he's getting at. But it's a little bit different to take it from, yeah, he was putting out stories in that sense that Jordan believed were conspiracy theory or that hadn't necessarily come to pass. And they were somewhat sensational, too. He's preying on the anger of people in the same way that Fox News preys on the anger of their subscribers. And that takes it to this other level of he's being blatantly dishonest in what he's saying. That just, it, it just pushes it beyond a certain point of I disagree with something specific that he's saying. I don't necessarily think this particular thing is right or wrong to just kind of an assassination of the guy's character. Um, H.A. Goodman came out and essentially was pissed. And I can understand why he would be pissed. Um, he wasn't really giving specifics. He wasn't really detailing anything. And if you're going to come out with something like that, where you're really going to go balls out attacking somebody to that degree. I mean, because ultimately this was meant at the individual, not so much at what the individual was saying. If you're going to do that, you've got to be more specific in the examples that you're going to give, because otherwise you're going to get massive pushback on this. And, and a second point, is it possible that the reason why people push back with TYT has nothing to do with H.A. Goodman, has nothing to do with these other people, has everything to do with TYT? <clears throat> you guys had a situation where, and, and I know it's not you, people usually make a distinction between Jordan and TYT. I'm making this point that in this case, he's, this felt like he was doing this because he was defending TYT. Ultimately, it was cast through this lens of, Jake backed me up, he put me in a particular position, I'm grateful for being in this particular position. He doesn't tell me what to say. He gives me freedom to do what he wants to do. I think it's unfair that you guys are attacking him. That was the lens. 
that this was cut through. But in making that case and making that argument, he's going balls out at an individual, not what the individual is saying, but at the individual going so far as to delegitimize the argument that the person is making, saying he's just preying on people's fears. He's preying on people being angry. Those guys aren't really progressives. Those guys are something else. They're just trying to take advantage in order to get clicks. That's pretty rough. That's pretty rough. Um, beyond being pretty rough, you have to ask the question of, is there any perspective that says what's H.A. Goodman doing? Is being earnest? I would say yes. Is there a perspective that says H.A. Goodman going after TYT? Or, and I don't even know if he went after TYT. I make this point that people, I have heard people go after TYT. Is it possible that those people are being earnest and going after TYT? Is there a larger region reason that possibly those people just want clicks? Yes. Yes, of course there is. You guys were in a contentious election campaign. You guys were Bernie Central, literally, during that particular campaign. You guys pulled in millions because understood that people full well understood that that was the best chance in the sense of Bernie getting fair coverage and favorable coverage. Bake it into the cake. The primaries end. Jake comes out and supports Hillary Clinton. TYT comes out and supports Hillary Clinton. Even Anna. Jimmy Dore, and I believe you, for the most part, didn't tow that line. John Adarola also supported Hillary Clinton. Now, yes, they would do this tap dance of, well, we're voting for Hillary Clinton, but we're not supporting Hillary Clinton. Whatever. Whatever. Ultimately, the candidate who you guys was in the camp for, the candidate who you guys were diehard supporters of, whisper a dream and all that good stuff, that guy was cheated by the Democratic Party. He was full well cheated, documented, cheated. Your own network documented the fact that they cheated the guy. Completely cheated the guy. You're going to turn around after that and say, you should still vote Hillary Clinton. You should still vote for the person who cheated your candidate. The guy who you went out there and stomped for and gave millions of dollars to. You should vote for her now. Are you trying to tell me that the only reason people would be a little miffed and TYT is because those people are angry and they're following some kind of sheepdog away from TYT. Meaning you're trying to say that H.A. Goodman's angst or his dislike of that particular line. Because I'm telling you, I dislike that line also. I think it's insane to say that somebody cheated a particular candidate and then turn your network around and say we're going to support the candidate that cheated the other candidate. That is insane. Now you could say, well, yeah, people are pissed at that. Yeah, people are going to be pissed at that. But the very act that people are pissed at that doesn't necessarily mean that they're doing it out of some damn clickbait. They're doing it because they're pissed at the behavior. They disagree with the behavior. It doesn't mean that they're acting in some kind of craven way to try to pull people away from TYT. Understand, you're invested in your network. That's fine. But investment in your network doesn't necessarily mean you can just randomly just smear people in this way. I watched this entire thing and the entire time I kept thinking to myself, what is he talking about? What is he talking about? And if you're seeing a show, you're seeing a segment, and in that segment, they're being dismissive of a lawsuit, a lawsuit, ultimately, that they full well agree with because they full well understand that they were cheated in that process. It's almost as if he's fully decoupling the emotion of being cheated and being railroaded with people having reaction to that being cheated and to being railroaded. Those things aren't mutually distinctive of one another, you're going to have a reaction to something. It's just the way it is. If somebody is looking at TYT, TYT supported Hillary Clinton. Bake that into the cake. TYT initially supported Bernie Sanders. And after Bernie Sanders was cheated, they turned around and supported the person that cheated him. Progressives did not like that. You did have some progressives that voted for Hillary Clinton, but ultimately they did not particularly like that. So yes, you're going to get pressure against your network because it's going against the prevailing wind or the, at least the prevailing wind among its demographic. On top of that, if you're having a show, and in that particular show, they're being somewhat dismissive of the lawsuit after already voting for the person who cheated their particular candidate, are you really telling me that ultimately that the people, they're not having an honest reaction to what they're seeing on that show? They're not pushing back for honest reasons. No, they're pushing back because H.A. Goodman and some mystery other figure was essentially pushing them to leave the show. Yeah, no. No. I, I have to be honest. I didn't particularly like that thing either of, you know, this moral hazard of, yeah, they're going to cheat him and then you're going to turn around and support the person who cheated him. 
And yes, I could put myself in a position of Sanders and all this other stuff. I don't necessarily think Sanders is a sellout. I don't necessarily like what he's doing. Yes, he's an absolute sheepdog. Yes, he's pushing people into a party that hasn't changed one iota. So yeah, I don't like what he's doing right now. But you've never heard me make this case that Sanders was a sellout. Uh, if anything, I've said I don't necessarily like what he was doing. The reason I make, I'm saying this in this way is I also fundamentally disagree with the coverage that TYT gave to that particular process. And I completely fundamentally disagree that it was a good idea to turn around and say, we're going to support the people that cheated this candidate. I fundamentally disagree with it. I don't have to do a bunch of shows on it because it doesn't necessarily matter one way or the other to me. But I'm trying to get across this thing of I am functioning at a level of fairness when I'm looking at a particular thing and analyzing it and saying, I don't like that. It has nothing to do with clickbait in that sense. I'm being, it's an honest expression of me looking at a process that I don't particularly like or a situation I don't like. You are, in order for you to make your argument, you would have to believe that H.A. Goodman and whoever these other mystery figures that you're talking about are functioning in some way that is not representative of that. Meaning, it's not that H.A. Goodman does, is, is angry that the political process was rigged. It's not that he's angry that ultimately your network turned around and cheated TYT. No, 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 no. It's not all that. He just wants to put eyes on the screen in order for clickbait. Which is more likely? Is it possible that him and a lot of other people were just pissed at seeing your network turn tail in such a way? Is that possible? And if that's possible, to any degree, which I would make the case, it's probably more likely. Is it also possible that Goodman and whoever else you're talking about is having an honest expression of that frustration in their shows and in their channels? Those channels are just representative of who those people are. You're taking this separate extra step of saying they're not being earnest. They just want clickbait. They're just trying to get people to put eyes on the screen. They just want people to attack TYT and beware of following people who can lead you astray from TYT because these guys are awesome. These guys have a track record and these guys have helped me out and given me a job. I understand they gave you a job. They also turned tail in that election. And you fundamentally misunderstand the level of ire that people have towards the Democratic Party. Meaning that the fact that TYT aligned themselves with the Democratic Party in that particular election after TYT full well understood that they cheated Sanders means yes, it is natural and expected for you to get a certain amount of pushback on your network. Not because people are craving, not because they're trying to put out clickbait, not because they're just trying to get you in the knees just for the sake of hitting you in the knees, but because they fundamentally disagree with the tack that you guys took. Now, you can take this extra case of saying, well, these guys are mad because they're trying to say that we're not progressive as somebody else. Whatever. Ultimately, you came out and you attacked somebody and you didn't necessarily go into detail to get across why you were attacking them. You name names, yes. But you were pretty short on what specifically you were talking about. Because again, you said they were lying. You were saying they were making shit up. You said they were doing it purely for the sake of clickbait. You were saying they weren't real progressives. They were more Fox News-ish in their particular way of dealing with things. These are heavy charges. These are heavy charges. And the video that you put out seemed to lack a certain amount of mustard in getting those across. That's all I'm saying. I don't, I don't, I doubt Jake put him up to it. I've been hearing people say this. I seriously doubt that. I, I don't necessarily think Jordan is craving. I think Jordan was pissed. I think he was feeling some kind of way. I think he associates himself with the network and an attack on the network. Ultimately, he looks at it as an attack on himself. <clears throat> I wager that he makes a very little distinction between the network itself and him as an individual. And I'm guessing, so I don't necessarily know. I don't know Jordan. But I'm not turning him into a cartoon figure that was pushed by Jenk Uger. Which just means I'm not putting him in the same boat that he's putting those other guys in of these being two-dimensional characters who are purely out there just for clickbait. That's insane. That's insane. Jordan, yeah, dude, I didn't like this. I didn't like this. A, I didn't think it was fair. B, I didn't think it was necessary. C, I don't necessarily think it accomplishes any particular objective. I don't even know what the objective was that you wanted to put out for this, other than to defend your particular network, which is fine, but is it possible to defend your network in a way that doesn't necessarily try to attack the characters of the people who you believe are attacking your network? Is that possible? Is that possible? Because ultimately, you need to prove that they're behaving in a way that's purely craven. And to say, well, I'm not making any additional videos on this. Yeah, that sounds great. So you could just move on without necessarily addressing 
the tidal wave that you've created. I woke up this morning seeing all of the stuff about AJ Goodman and Jordan, and I watched the video and I'm like, what the hell is he doing? And what the hell is he talking about? And even when there was aspects where I could say, maybe he means X, Y, Z, he went so heavy on it that it's hard to defend him in him making those assertions. So, uh, look, I'm going to put the video at the bottom. Um, yeah, I didn't particularly like it. I didn't particularly like it. I, whether it's this whole quote-unquote loss of credibility thing and everything else, I'm not putting all that into it. He's an individual, and as a person, a person is going to have certain positions that they're going to take based upon the things that they're biased towards. This is my network. I have an affiliation with this particular person. I like this particular person. I believe in this particular person. People are attacking this person. I want to defend the thing that I identify myself with. You don't need a second player to push somebody into that situation. The very incentive structure of it, by itself, compels a particular behavior based upon who that person is. So it's not this thing where I think it's an absolute that Jordan loses all credibility because of it. It's not that. I just think it's bad form. And I just don't think it necessarily gets him anywhere. Um, and to say I'm just telling it like it is, is not really a good excuse because you're not just telling it like it is. You're essentially attacking somebody. Um, you're essentially attacking somebody. And you don't necessarily know their motivations for doing it, but you're assigning motivations to things that are perfectly natural for the person to do. Meaning, those guys are who you're talking about. The things that they're saying, particularly with regards to TYT in that sense, I, I haven't heard whether they're saying there's sellouts and all this other stuff. I don't know. But even if they did, that case is not being made purely for the sake of clickbait, which is the impression that you tried to give. That is made based upon the things that TYT did. There's a sharp, distinct difference between those things. That's what I'm trying to get across. You're ascribing certain behaviors or certain motives to their behaviors that I don't think exists. I don't think it exists. Is there always a motive in something that has a little bit of, well, yes, I want people to watch this. Of course, you wouldn't necessarily do a video without it. But is that the prevailing motive in those people being upset and those people not liking the process and those people really just fundamentally disagreeing with the way TYT handled that process and the way even TYT was dismissive of the lawsuit? Those people, if they were pissed at one, yeah, they're going to be pissed at the other. And yeah, it is perfectly natural for those people to say, I'm not watching TYT because I don't particularly like this. Because the shock of what took place in that primary is so ghastly that it reaches something down deep in all those people. You can't say those people are wrong for that, and you can't say they've been craving for it. You may say they may be over the top. Maybe. I disagree with it. But you may say, well, yeah, those people are over the top, and they're not necessarily looking at this with a particular amount of context. That may or not be true. But that wasn't your argument. Your argument went further into their motives, saying that their motives were dark and that they were doing things, not for good reasons, not because they were angry, not because they were just given an honest expression of who they were and what they were feeling in that particular time. No, they were doing it for some kind of craven profit means. That's gross. That's just gross. That's not just gross. It's main, massively unfair. It's massively unfair. So... Alright guys, I just wanted to weigh in on this before going in. I, I didn't particularly like it. I thought, he looks bad in this moment. Like, this just doesn't look good for him. And A, it doesn't help him get... I don't know what he's trying to accomplish, but it doesn't get him any of that stuff. There may be people who agree with him, but he's going to lose a certain amount of credibility from certain people. He doesn't necessarily lose credibility for me in this case, because I look at it as, I understand why I think he's doing it. I just think it's massively unfair, and I just think it's not necessarily the best thing to do. But the flack he's going to get is earned, if that makes sense. I mean, it's, he's casting this in ways that are somewhat unfair, that he would have to back up if you're going to make cases in that way. I don't think H.A. Guzman's motives were being dark. Do I think he might have had a little bit of clickbait associated with what he was doing? Maybe, particularly when it comes around the... Um, the whole um, Clinton being indicted thing. But do I think he was being craven and purely doing it for clickbait? No. No. Not at all. I think he was given an honest expression of how he was feeling. And I think other people felt the same way and jumped on board. I don't necessarily think he's doing these things purely to just pull people in and just to prey like vampires on their anger and their resentment. I don't think that at all. I think you have somebody who's an honest expression of how he's feeling about the process. An honest expression of politics. An honest expression 
of how he sees with the DNC and things affiliated with the DNC, including TYT. His response is natural. It's a natural outgrowth of all that stuff. You don't necessarily need dark motives associated with it, nor do you need dark motives to be people who identify with that feeling and fall in line with that particular feeling. So yeah, that's not being fair. Um, Jordan need to buck up on that one. He need to tighten up. That ain't right. It's not right. Alright guys, if you enjoyed the content, feel free to share, like, subscribe, and you can always support the work through Patreon. Thanks guys.